Hello everybody, it's Megalithic here, otherwise known as Puglo Escobar, and in today's video we're going to take a look at the Bravado Banshee. Now it can be found under the legendary motorsport website, uh, under the topless or the uh, regular version, or also under the uh, Benny's original motorworks there, ladies and gentlemen, in all cases retailing for a price of $105,000. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen, this is what we're looking at, and it's the Dodge Viper, isn't it, basically? Okay, so let's take it out onto the street. Uh, okay, now as this is the uh, as this is the Benny's custom, ladies and gentlemen, the Benny's uh, original Motorworks uh, version of the uh, vehicle, we're going to take it on down to uh, Benny's original Motorworks. You know, we're going to have an upgrade and we're also going to have the Benny's customization put on it. Okay, so as it stands, ladies and gentlemen, this is pretty much the standard uh, bravado gaunt, uh, bravado uh, banshee that you would pull off the street. You know, uh, so one shouldn't expect too much. Like I say, it's really getting the price of one hundred and five thousand dollars. That really is bottom end. I'm sure you'd agree. Uh, and so yes, one shouldn't expect too much but uh, that being said ladies and, ladies and gentlemen we'll give it a go and sort of uh, uh, see what we think of uh, in terms of an initial review ladies and gentlemen before the vehicle has been modified so what can we think okay well let's have a look at that acceleration and it's okay isn't it I mean, it's fairly reasonable actually now to be quite frank on the flag going up here whoops the days is uh, going on the flag uh, going up here ladies and gentlemen it's quite uh, quite slow but uh Right, actually, it is quite slow, isn't it, really, from a, from a standing start. Okay, yeah, so the acceleration, not too good, ladies and gentlemen. The handling is absolutely really awful, you know. That really is the problem with this vehicle, you know. Uh, the top end speed, not too bad, you know. That's the one thing it's got going for it. But like I said, this is a very cheap vehicle, ladies and gentlemen, so we're not really expecting wonders from it, you know. Uh, and so it's sort of what we'd expect, sort of par for the course, ladies and gentlemen, you know. Anyway, uh, we're getting closer and closer to uh, the Benin's Motor Works there, original Motor Works there, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to take it on inside we're going to go perform the necessary upgrades and modifications. We're also going to, as I say, go ahead and perform, uh, have that uh, Venice customization applied to this vehicle. Uh, and that will, uh, that will uh, doubtlessly improve the performance dramatically. Okay, so here we are, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see, the Bravado Banshee Sports there, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, now we can go and uh, have this upgraded to the uh, the Banshee 900R, ladies and gentlemen, uh, for a price of, uh, one. Uh, what was that there? Uh, $565,000, ladies and gentlemen. So, yes, that takes that. That takes uh, the overall price of this vehicle up to $670,000, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, and that, in fact, does convert it from a, uh, from a sports car to a supercar, don't you know? Uh, that really is a rather unusual occurrence. I'm sure you'll agree there are only uh, one or two other vehicles on the game I'm aware of uh, that that, uh, that particular function applies to. So, yes, this has now been upgraded, ladies and gentlemen, from a sports car to a supercar uh, by way of that Benny's uh, modification. Like I say, it's now a, a, a Banshee 9. 900 R as opposed to the regular Banshee, ladies and gentlemen, and that will uh, doubtlessly improve the performance, you know, uh, of certain aspects of this uh, of this vehicle. Okay, now uh, as this is the standard review, ladies and gentlemen, this is not the full review. We do do a full review. Uh, if you would uh, care to go have a look for it on my channel, if you uh, prefer the shorter reviews, uh, this is all what this is, and we're not going to go through all of the modifications. Uh, we're just going to go through the more aesthetic stylings, and then we're going to take it back out onto the street and see how she handles now that she's been upgraded. Okay, and we've gone through the colours and whatnot, and that means we're about ready to take it back outside, and that really is a jolly good thing. Okay, so here we go, ladies and gentlemen. This is now the uh, the Bravado Banshee 900R. This is now a supercar, ladies and gentlemen, as we can see. Yes, that acceleration really does seem to have been improved rather dramatically, doesn't it? They're now going uphill there. Okay, and top end speed, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, it really is rather flying along now, isn't it? It sort of is going so, gaining some speed there. And unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, the handling is still absolutely ruddy awful. And as I say, yes, look at that. They're absolutely shocking, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, and unfortunately, yes, uh, the modifications have not done much to improve that, and that really was uh, the weakest area of the vehicle, you know. And so, uh, yes, that's pretty much uh, where it all goes horribly wrong, ladies and gentlemen. Either way, here we go, coming to the bottom right hand corner. Can we hold on there? I mean, well, there we go, back end drifting out and all that sort of business. Uh, but we've seen a lot of cars do a lot worse around there, ladies and gentlemen. So you can see you can get around sort of those sharp corners, you know, you have to break rather heavily, uh, it sort of slides out like that, you've got to hold it and whatnot. But it's there, uh, it is feasible, ladies and gentlemen, it's feasible. Okay, well, we're going to take, uh, take on to the top speed test track now and uh, see what sort of time she gets when we put it down here. Now, what we can uh, consider to be a competitive time, ladies and gentlemen, down this top speed test track is about 53 and 54 seconds. That's what the Zentorno can do it in, and we're going to see what the Bravado Banshee uh, 900R can do it in now. And let's take a look, shall we? Okay, 53.054, ladies and gentlemen. So, yes, that is a competitive vehicle. What can one say? So, uh, now we're going to take it on up to Sandy Shores, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to take it up against other vehicles and see how she handles. Okay. 
Okay, so first off, ladies and gentlemen, is the Immorgan. Uh, this is the Overflood Immorgan, ladies and gentlemen. I believe retailing for price of $2.1 million, don't you know? Uh, it is a very, uh, it's a, I'm not particularly, it's a very slow down the top speed test track, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, top speed uh, straight there, only 100, 1 minute, 1 second. Uh, but it's got very uh, fast acceleration, ladies and gentlemen. But yes, uh, there we go. Uh, the $670,000 Bravado, ladies and gentlemen, is going to leave it in its wake. Okay, so that's two, uh, $2.1 million down the drain, ladies and gentlemen. Now we're going back down the price range. This is the uh, Degrani Turismo R5, uh, $500,000 for this particular vehicle, half a million dollars, ladies and gentlemen. Up against $670,000. We're about to see what happens here. And as you can see already, ladies and gentlemen, yes, the Bravado Banshee is sort of leaving it behind there, sort of making it in its dust, isn't it? Okay, so there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Rather interesting, I'm sure you'll agree. You know, like I said, this Bravado Banshee, once it has been upgraded, really does become rather a, rather a splendid vehicle, you know, in terms of sort of acceleration, the top speed and whatnot, well, as I say, is still not overly impressed with the handling myself. Okay, well, we're going to take it on a bit more serious now, ladies and gentlemen. Now we're going to bring out the True Fade Nero. Now, this is uh, uh, $1.4 million, I do believe, uh, or $1,440,000, something along those lines. It's driven by Mr. Raccoon, I should point out. Uh, that is Mr. Raccoon driving one of the other vehicles. His name is the Bromby, has a channel of his own. It's called the Bromby. If you type that into YouTube, you should be able to go and find what he's going to do. He's got some other good videos on there. Either way, ladies and gentlemen, uh, like I say, the True Fade Nero, a very, very fine car. $1.4 million, and can you believe it, ladies and gentlemen, it's sat behind the Banshee. Okay, so that really is rather shocking, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, now we're going to bring on to what we, uh, we consider to be a very competitive vehicle, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Pegasi Zentorno, $725,000 for this particular vehicle, and it's exceptionally good for that money, you know. Okay, so $607,000, we get $725,000 broadly in the same ballpark, I'm sure you agree, ladies and gentlemen. And you can see uh, the Bravado Banshee and Hydra are getting to the top of the track there, and yes, the Pegasi Zentorno coming along the side of one look at that, ladies and gentlemen. We really are sort of holding our own down there, and that really is very, very impressive. You know, those Zentorno is a very, very fine car, and we're following it right to the line, and that really is shocking, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely shocking, you know. This vehicle has to be seen, as we said, this vehicle really is quite impressive, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, well, uh, this is the final masquerade now, ladies and gentlemen. We brought it on to the final race. This is the uh, the Gorotti, uh, the What is this? This is the Gorotti, uh, Well, uh, the Tally GTO. How on God's earth could I forget that? Right, uh, one of the fastest cars on GTS, or the fastest far car on GTS, as far as we're concerned, ladies and gentlemen. And yes, that's why it's leaving it in the wake. It's out, uh, it's wake once again. Okay, so there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, what do we think of the uh, the Bravado Banshee? You know, it can take on all comers, really. You know, it was even challenging the Zentorno there. Of course, it's not going to take down the GTO. Uh, but there we go. So what do we think of it? Is it worth $670,000? I say no, because I don't like the handling. You know, Mr. Raccoon absolutely disagrees. He says it really is worth the money. And I suppose, uh, in a way, he's bloody raccoon, right? Sorry, hell. Well, I do hope you've enjoyed this video. And as always, thank you for watching.